what the? You guys are here already? <sighs> All right. Let's get to work then. Uh, it's not work appropriate. That's better. All right, so. First thing we gotta do is prep the trucks for delivery. Oh. Oops. And that means you gotta suck all the fuel out of them. Because I put more fuel in them in Virginia than it was gonna take to drive down there. It was just easier to do it that way. I feel like I should be singing a neighborhood song or something. Although. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. I'm gonna roll out the window, you guys can check it out. pretty in the woods here. Looks like something right out of the Walking Dead. Except for all the cars going by. Look at the sidewalk down there though. Kind of crazy how it literally looks like it's been abandoned. Then Nobody's walked on it like in the Walking Dead. <sighs> Better. at the pad. 
update I'm out of the port I didn't get arrested nobody uh, hassled me that bad it was quick easy in and out it took a little bit to get checked in and have the guy tell me where to go but now I've got to rush off to my other location where I'm picking up my trucks going to Dallas uh, they close at 5 it is 4 hours driving there it's 131 now so I'm gonna be running uh, about a half an hour late, I talked to the guy and he's gonna try to set the trucks out with service. So I don't know what time service closes, but he's gonna call me and let me know. So I gotta get moving. We'll see you guys there. Okay, so I pulled over here. Uh... I think the truck needs a little cooling in it, but this check engine light came on. And it says, see dealer now. I think I'll wait a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna go see him right now. I got stuff to do. But I noticed that it does that whenever I have my fuel turned up and I'm in the throttle all the way for an extended period of time, which I was doing earlier, trying to pass somebody. I think it's because my fuel rail's running low on fuel pressure. Whenever I hit the diag on this, it doesn't say anything. There is no code. See? There are no DTCs detected. But if I hit clear and erase the DTCs, turn the truck off, Turn it back on. Well, it didn't do it that time. Generally, if I do that, check engine light goes away. And it'll stay off until the next time that I floor it with the chip turned up.
Oh, look at how delicious that looks. Oh my goodness. Well, well that's not good. I can't tell where it's leaking diesel from. But everything is covered in diesel. investigation looks like so I'm just trimming up some video here I took on my phone I'm gonna send it over to my buddies over at RGR racing in Farmington New Mexico and see if maybe they can figure out what's going on it's leaking from somewhere back behind the cp3 pump i can't see it because it's leaking so bad i can't see it from underneath when it's running it's pouring fuel down and also i can't really see it from the side because it's kind of tucked in behind so maybe these guys maybe birdo's got an idea of what it is he's seen it before or something like that but i'm gonna send it over to him and see what he thinks they probably think that I'm just making up some of this stuff to make good videos. No. I could not make this shit up. For quality assurance, this call may be recorded. Uh, can you connect me with Billy in sales, please? Yeah, of course. Can I get your name? Uh, Ty Jackson. Perfect. One moment. Thank you. Just suspension. Nothing puts your beard. Thank you for holding this. Billy, can help you? Billy, what's happening, brother? This is Ty. What's going on, man? Oh, I'm up one of those creeks. And I've... I'm, a paddle? Yeah, I lost my, uh, I lost my CP3 paddle. Holy shit. Oh yeah, you're telling me. I'm like on the side of a freeway in Macon, Georgia. And my CP3 is spewing fuel all over the place. Uh, how many miles on that truck? 160. Damn. Right? It's actually, is it like leaking out of the pulley or where's it leaking from? Yeah, somewhere up underneath by the, up by the pulley uh, on the block side. So, damn it. Okay. I looked. I I was hoping to just push the O-ring out by the regulator, but no, no dice. No dice. Yeah. What year is your truck again? That's a uh, 0767. You got the first year 67. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every time I I every time I'm getting close to calling you to get that stud kit, something <laughs> like this happens. Something else is going down. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're just throwing out numbers here. You got BD diesel. They're like 880 for a pump. Ours are on sale 777. For how fast could we get it back east? Thing I have is on the west coast. It's like fuel BD diesel. Let's say we had to go with one of their pumps. Yeah, so I want to see what we're having. Since I got that big old sinister sticker on the back window, I figured I ought to put a sinister pump in it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and see where I can send this part and then uh, and then I'll call you with uh, as a payment option and we'll get that thing on the way and then alright sounds good bud alright thanks Billy appreciate it thank you right, bye. okay so that was Billy at Sinister Diesel he is one of the coolest guys I've ever met I met him actually at the SEMA show last year. Then we started talking diesels and of course, we're all there at the SEMA show, so there you go. That's how you make connections. So I need to make a couple of calls and find out where the hell I'm gonna have this pump set and I need to get a tow truck on the way. So I will see you guys in a little bit with an update and I will let you know what's going on. Talk to you in a minute. So just an update, I got picked up. Sean's giving me a ride to Atlanta. He was uh, driving by, asked me if I needed help, so 
figured I'd throw him some bucks and we're gonna go get my truck and then uh, we'll load Megatron up on the trailer and take it to Dallas to fix it. So that's pretty much all that's going on tonight and uh, we'll have to hit you guys up in a little bit. I'll give you an update. So I got my truck here in Atlanta. Uh, I got one of these Peterbilts. Pretty nice truck. A little dirty, but clean for the most part. And we are headed out back down to Macon. Uh, that's where Sean lives as well. So he is going to follow me back down there. And I'm going to go pick up Megatron. Megatron's not doing too well. His heart went out. So my buddy Billy over at Sinister has got me a new pump headed to Dallas where I will drive these trucks over there, pick up the pump, and then I guess I'll